The concept of carb cycling involves eating minimal carbs for two days consecutively. This will be followed by a day of eating more carbs. There is a reason for this. When the stored reserves of carbs are due to run out, energy is recharged thanks to a high carb day. This speeds the metabolism and leads to more fat loss. If you reduce your carbs over two days, your fat stores will be used for energy. Your body will also enter a catabolic state. This means the body starts to use muscle tissue to derive energy from the protein in your muscles. It's important to know what to eat over a week if you're planning to carb cycle. Here is a great 7-day plan to ensure you obtain all the essential nutrients. You'll also get enough variety, so you don't get bored with your meals. If you can adhere to this plan for 30 days, you should experience weight loss benefits. Day 1, Low Carb Day. Breakfast, almond and citrus fruit salad, mixed with berries and yogurt. Snack 1, an apple and a protein bar. Lunch, salad made with 50 grams of quinoa, 100 grams of peas and tomatoes and two hard-boiled eggs. Snack 2, a banana and a scoop of walnuts. Dinner, a sliced stir-fried chicken breast with sliced carrots, courgettes and green beans served with 70 grams of quinoa. Finally snack 3, two oatcakes. Let's look at the stats for day 1. Total calories, 1880. This consists of 226 grams of carbs, 108 grams of protein and 67 grams of fat. Day 2, low carb day. Breakfast, seed and apple muesli made with 2 tablespoons of rolled oats, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds and pumpkin seeds served with 2 tablespoons of natural yogurt and a small apple. Snack 1, a banana and scoop of walnuts. Lunch, a wholemeal pita stuffed with half an avocado, 1 tablespoon of cottage cheese and tuna. Snack 2, a pear. Dinner, a grilled salmon steak with half a sliced lime on top served with 100 grams broccoli, 70 grams of quinoa and 75 grams of peas. Finally snack 3, an apple. Let's look at the stats for day 2. Total calories, 1891. This consists of 170 grams of carbs, 131 grams of protein and 81 grams of fat. Day 3, high carb day. Breakfast, 60 grams of oats, soaked in water with 200 grams of berries served with a pot of natural yogurt and a tablespoon of sunflower seeds. Snack 1, a peach. Lunch, a baked potato stuffed with a tablespoon of hummus served with salad made from sliced cucumber, tomato, red pepper and mixed leaves. Snack 2, a protein bar and an apple. Dinner, a grilled cod filet served with 250 grams of boiled potatoes, 100 grams of carrots and peas. Finally snack 3, 3 oat cakes. Let's look at the stats for day 3. Total calories, 1801. This consists of 323 grams of carbs, 78 grams of protein and 40 grams of fat. Day 4, low carb day. Breakfast, 3 eggs beaten with 2 tablespoons of natural yogurt. Add half a red pepper, half a courgette and half an onion as well as 1 tablespoon of peas and cook in a pan. Snack 1, an apple and a handful of pumpkin seeds. Lunch, a can of salmon mixed with a can of butter beans served with a salad of lettuce leaves, tomato, sugar snap peas, and onion. Snack 2, a nectarine. Dinner, a grilled turkey breast with grilled courgette, carrot, red pepper, and onion. Finally snack 3, a banana and 80 grams of grapes. Let's look at the stats for day 4. Total calories, 1812. This consists of 159 grams of carbs, 143 grams of protein and 72 grams of fat. Day 5, Low Carb Day. Breakfast, 2 boiled eggs with 2 whole meal pita slices spread with marmite and butter. Snack 1, an apple and a pear. Lunch, avocado and tuna mash served with salad leaves, cucumber, tomato, carrot, and courgette. Snack 2, a piece and an oatcake topped with cucumber and cottage cheese. Dinner, a can of salmon mixed with a can of chopped tomatoes, tomato puree, carrot, red pepper, and courgettes, simmered for 10 minutes and served. Finally snack 3, a banana. Let's look at the stats for day 5. Total calories, 1804. This consists of 165 grams of carbs, 124 grams of protein and 77 grams of fat. Day 6, high carb day. Breakfast, 5 tablespoons of natural yogurt. Mix with 50 grams of rolled oats, 200 grams of berries, 1 tablespoon of honey and a sliced pear. 
Snack 1, a whole meal pita bread stuffed with a tomato and cottage cheese. Lunch, a chickpea salad made with half a can of chickpeas. Snack 2, 4 oatcakes with sliced apple and peanut butter. Dinner, a grilled chicken breast with steamed broccoli, 70 grams quinoa and 100 grams green beans. Finally snack 3, a banana. Let's look at the stats for day 6. Total calories, 1845. This consists of 249 grams of carbs, 122 grams of protein and 44 grams of fat. Day 7, low carb day. Breakfast, 2 poached eggs with 2 portobello mushrooms and 2 tomatoes. Snack 1, a pot of natural yogurt, an orange and a peach. Lunch, a pita stuffed with cottage cheese, avocado, cucumber, tomato, lettuce, and peanut butter. Snack 2, an apple with a handful of sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds. Dinner, poached salmon with a courgette, 200 grams tomatoes and sugar snap peas. Finally snack 3, a banana and 2 oatcakes. Let's look at the stats for day 7. Total calories, 1820. This consists of 157 grams of carbs, 98 grams of protein and 94 grams of fat. We hope this 7-day carb cycling program helps with your weight loss regime. Thank you for watching. To help us make more helpful content please like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell icon and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video.